How's it going boys and girls, Miles here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be bringing you another life story, and this life story is going to be about an absolute dodgy prick of a cab driver that I had not too long ago. So how it all started, you know, we went clubbing, there was eight of us all together, we went clubbing, had a great time, two left early, because, you know, the fucking lightweights, melts, you know who you are. And then there were six of us who left later, and at the same time. When the six of us left, we, you know, first thing we did, we went to the chicken shop, all got some food. Uh, I got a really nice fucking chicken burger and chips. By the way, this chicken shop by the club is dank. You know, it's a place to go whenever we leave this club. It's so nice. Um, so we got all that. Uh, ready to, you know, fucking munch on when we get home. And there's always cabs outside of this club. So you don't really have to call people. You just go and um, fucking say, oh, can you do, can you drop us off and blah, blah, blah. And that's what my mate was doing. And there was a cab right outside of a chicken shop. And he was, like, discussing with him. And, like, saying, like, can you do this amount of drop-offs. Uh, and how much would it cost and all that stuff so it was six of us who, were gonna, who would be getting in the cab and was asking if he could do five drop offs and including Croydon because they all like they're Bromley Beckenham area so they're all going to be dropping, getting dropped off around about the same place whereas I would be getting dropped off in Croydon which is like a bit further from there and we was like make sure, making sure to clarify that we want to drop off in Croydon as well because usually they can be a bit aggy and say oh no I'm not going to go Croydon because it's, it's not really near or they might make it a bit more expensive so um, he was actually saying he can do Croydon and that he will do Croydon at uh, Croydon drop offs, Croydon drop off, and he was saying they will cost us fifty quid. So it's obviously not that bad. It's fifty quid between six of us, so you know it's less than a tenner each. So it's not bad at all, really. And it was five drop offs. The reason why it's five drop offs for six people, not six drop offs, is because two people were going to be getting dropped off at the exact same place. So that was fine. So it was all agreed, and we all got in this guy's cab. And straight away, as soon as he put his foot on the pedal, he's starting to be aggy already. And he's asking for his fucking money. And obviously that's not like, oh shit, let's call the bloody police, you know. What is wrong with this guy? He's asking for his money. It's not that bad. It's not that big of a deal. But usually when you get in a cab, you give them their money when you get dropped off. So the fact that he's asking for his money, you know, like straight away, you know, you know he's a fucking dodgy fucker, really. And like we were saying stuff, oh yeah, we'll give you the money, like when we get off and that. But now he's still being a little bell end and fucking insisting that we pay him now. So he quickly pulled over. We all gave him his money. And then... He, he was on his way, he was on his way, and the first place he went to, he went to Beckenham, dropped off one of my mates, then he went to Beckenham again, dropped off the other person, and then he went to, which was West Wickham, to drop off two people at the same place, and then he was like, okay, one more drop off, and he was like, hold on, what are you on about one more drop off, there's two people here, mate, one in Bromley, one in Croydon, and you fucking said he was going to do uh, five drop offs, and you've only done three, you bellend, and then he was being all weird, but then he went silent for the rest of the journey again, and then he dropped off my mate at Bromley, um, and obviously, because obviously I'm a bit further from them, they're all like the same area. They all get dropped off first, and then I'm the fucking last one to get dropped off. Bollocks. But I've got to deal with it. So yeah, he dropped the second to last person off, and he's starting to fucking say, oh, like, no, I'm done now, that's it. And we're like, mate, what are you on about? You still got one more drop off. You said you was going to do it. You said you was going to go to Croydon. And he was being all weird and blah, 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 blah. And I like, can insist in like our oh, mileage and all that shit. When he's the fucking guy who said that he would do this, and he would drop us off. Um, so one of my mates just like very kindly gave him four quid and said, "Oh, can I give you four? If I give you four quid, like you know, what I mean, would you drop him off?" But he didn't have to do that, but he did because he's because he's nice, all right. I appreciate that. And he said, "Yeah, again, he agreed to do it again." He was like, "All right, yeah." And then boom, my mate went on his way, went indoors, and this guy was like driving me along. And as he's driving me along, the whole time he's being fucking aggy with me and saying like, "Oh, um, I can't drop you off at your place." Uh, because of mileage and all that shit like that and I was like mate you agreed to do five drop offs including Croydon and he was like oh forget about agreement forget about agreement like oh and I'm like what, what the fuck are you on about forget about agreement like how can a cab driver or any like someone like that say forget about the agreement do you know what I mean like that's absolute bullshit and then this guy keeps saying stuff like oh your friend said that Every house is one to two miles between each other. And to be fair, like, yeah, like, the two Beckenham houses, and, um, obviously the people who both got dropped off in West Wickham, they they are very, very near each other. But then, obviously, this guy is a fucking cabbie. He should very well know that Croydon is not one to two miles away from, like, that sort of area, like Bromley, Beckenham, West Wickham. And I was actually saying that to him, I was saying those exact words, saying that you know that Croydon is not one mile, two mile away from these places, yet you still agree to do it, though. And then I was like, like, do you think that Croydon is actually a mile to two miles away from Bromley? And then he just said, well, and then went silent. 
he didn't fucking reply to me because he knew that he was a bellend and he knows that he's in the wrong. So the whole time, the whole journey, like we're bickering, like we're having this little argument, like he's just think, being a bellend and like saying that he's not going to drop me off at my place and that he was even saying he's going to drive me back to the fucking club. Like how stupid is that? Like that's even way further away. And then I was just like, oh, like can you just drop me off at West Wickham, please? And I was had in my head like, oh, look, fuck this guy. He's, he's not going to drop me off. He's an absolute prick. I was going to get off at West Wickham and then get a bus from there. And by the way, uh, if you don't like have a fucking clue or you've never heard of Croydon, Bromley, West Wickham, Beckham before, they're places in London, in South London. So just to clarify that. And uh, when we got to West Wickham, he was like, oh, so drop me off here. And I was like, oh, yeah, just a bit further down, mate. <laughs> I, kept, I was trying to be like, it's a bit cheeky and think, oh, I might try this and just keep saying a bit further down until he gets to my place. Because there was no traffic, so it wouldn't actually take him that long. Um, and he was like, and then he got a bit further down. He was like, oh, here, and I was like, oh, just a bit further down. And then he ended up getting into like Shirley, which is like in between West Wickham and uh, Croydon. And I was like, oh, yeah, just a bit further down. My, my, my house is like five minutes from here. And I was just saying that. And then he didn't say anything. So I was thinking in my head, oh, result, I think I've fucking done this guy. He's going to drop me off. And then he did go a bit further down and he fucking pulled over to somewhere which is outside the school, which is like a 30 minute walk from my house. And he was saying, like, oh, I've got to get out here and that. And then we started arguing again. I'm saying, like, mate, I gave you my fucking money to drop me off at my house. And you did say he was going to go to Croydon. Like, what are you on about? And he's saying this shit again. Like, forget about agreement. Like, he's chatting absolute bollocks. And you just can't talk to him because he's so fucking stupid. And he ain't going to budge. And then he starts saying, like, oh, if you don't get out, I'm going to drive you back to, to the club. And it's like, mate, my house is, a, like, a three-minute drive from here. Yet you're not going to do that. But he would drive me 30 minutes back to a fucking club. Like, okay, thumbs up. You're very clever, aren't you? Fuck me sideways. Um, so I just fucking got out. And then I went f and walked home for 30 minutes. Which was a calm walk. But, you know what I mean? I'd rather the cunt fucking drive me back to outside my gaff. But no, I had to fucking do a 30 minute walk. So this guy was an absolute bellend. And the next time we went to that club, we got into uh, a cab. Me and two of my mates. Cost us 30 quid between the three of us, and he did drop off to West Wickham, to Beckenham, and to Croydon, right outside all three of our houses. And he didn't bat a single eye, he didn't say anything like, oh no, he was just completely calm about it. So that cab driver was an absolute dodgy prick, there's no way that he should be a cabbie, but fuck him. I hope he gets done over. So anyway, that is the end of this live story, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you later.